Hi guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to do a tutorial slash craft with me of these witch broom banners that I made. So you're going to need some sticks. Uh, you could use the wood sticks and paint them. Um, these are the can candy sticks and they're in Halloween colors that I found. But this was a while ago at Joann's. You're going to need scissors, of course. You're gonna you're gonna need um, double-sided tape. Uh, and what else? Um, and if you have the fringe scissors, this would be helpful too. And of course, um, some adhesive, like a glue or glue gun. And I'm gonna get started. So. First, we're going to um, build our broom part. So I actually made two different ones. This one is made out of uh, this raffia. And I got this a while ago at Target. And then I made one with paper and mesh just in case you guys can't find this one. Um, and the mesh that I used is the one from Dollar Tree. Okay, so those are those. So the first one we're going to make is the raffia one. So um, this is the raffia when it's opened. And this is how it looks when you cut it off. And this probably is... This piece is about six inches and you're gonna need five of them so just take the thing and cut it five strips then you're gonna take them and you're gonna just start opening it up just like this until you get a flat one like this then you're gonna fold it in half and then you're gonna stack all five of them on top of each other And it doesn't have to be perfect. You're gonna just hold them together and you either use your fringe scissors, but with this one, it's easier to do just regular scissors. So um, as you can see on these, the top is fringy and the bottom is fringy. So you're not, you're not gonna, you're gonna cut up to maybe an inch and a half and then you're gonna have to do another like half an inch. So you're gonna make sure you don't cut up all the way. So have them stacked together. Doesn't have to be perfect. So you're just gonna cut up. But remember, don't cut up too far because you need to leave a gap right here so they all stay together. And just cut up again. And this is for the bottom of the broom. And then you're gonna, while holding them together still, you're gonna turn the other side. And instead of doing long, you're gonna just cut, you know, just snip it. And this, do, doing it like this gives these brooms a little extra texture. And um, I don't know if you guys noticed, like right here, I didn't cut. So then you're going to just lay it flat. I'm going to use the black stick instead. And zoom in a little bit. Okay. Make sure they're all laid flat. Like right in the center where you, you didn't cut into, you're going to do a line of glue. Lay down your stick, like starting right at the top of where you cut the bottom piece and start rolling. Just keep rolling. 
and then press down a little bit. And as you can see, some, some of them come up because you know there's five separate pieces. Just add a little glue. Don't have to be too precise with that because um, I forgot to show you that you do need some kind of baker's twine or you could use ribbon, but I have baker's twine. I think this is from Walmart, right? But it's not this year. It's a while ago. Starting from the bottom here, just put a little dot of glue. Add your baker's twine. So don't cut your baker's twine. Sorry. Um, be careful with the hot glue because it is hot, but I'm kind of used to it. And then just start wrapping. You know, to make, you know. Right in, right in the center in between the two fringes. Okay. And then just now you can cut off your baker twine. Get that out the way. And then um, add a little bit of glue on the piece that you just cut. And you, you know, Dollar Tree has those little fingers or um, is this uh, makeup thing and then just push that down and there goes your room the fringe one and then all you gotta do is fluff it up I'm oh, sorry <laughs> all you gotta do is fluff it up all right I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit again so this is the raffia one now we're gonna make the paper one so the paper one you're gonna need a piece of paper that is three by two and a half and then your um, mesh from Dollar Tree or tool um, whatever you have or you don't even need to do this step but I, I like to do this step because it's um just gives it more texture and then um, with your what you call it <laughs> your your adhesive you're gonna run um, a line you see, so this part, the long part, is where you're going to cut the fringe for the bottom, and the top is going to be where you cut the fringe for the top. So I put the tape there. Zoom in a little bit again. And then I just lay my mesh on top. Cause you're gonna cut them um, together. This one I like to use the fringe scissors I have, but if you don't have fringe scissors, you can use regular scissors. And then you see how your your tape is, you know, just cut up right about, not right up to it, but pretty close to it. That's like your stopping mark. And make your cuts. And by laying the mesh, you're cutting into it already, so you don't have to cut, you know, one at a time. And that's the bottom. You're going to flip it around and do the little cuts on the top part, too. This one I kind of like to turn around because I can't see too well. Once you change your marks, you know where to stop. There you go. Okay. And then just, like, kind of bend it a little bit just to start working the paper. And then I just put a little dab of hot glue where the tape is. Take my stick. Um, this stick, you can make it any size you want. I made mine, let's see. Maybe five inches? Yeah, uh, about four and a half, four and a half inches. But like I said, you can make it any size you want. Then you're gonna put some glue. Try to do a little bit at a time and just start rolling. And kind of roll tight. Roll tight, because this is gonna get pretty bulky. So roll, roll that tight, add some more glue, and then roll it to the back. Okay. 
And then you have something like this, and then, you know. So I'm gonna add the, take this off. <laughs> I'm gonna add the twine, the baker's twine. Um, I have this black one for this one. Once again, put a little bit of glue. Add your baker's twine, press that down. And start rolling. And this one is your paper. Fluff it up. So you got to try to go a little bit um, far up when you do the paper one. So the boom part. And then you fluff up this part too. All right. Let's see. So those are the two type of brooms you can make. It's your choice. Um, and they do look a little different but the stick is the same height but we you can cut it down but so these are the two brooms so now we're gonna add the banner part so I already cut up some strips so I'm um, gonna need three strips each so you're gonna need two strips that are um, Three fourths, so the, um, I would leave it long, and we can cut off the excess. And you're gonna need one strip that's one inch. So two strips that are three fourths, and one strip that is one inch. So taking your broom, starting from the bottom, you're gonna place your. Let's see. Let me do it like this first. Let me put this one first. You're gonna place your first. Um, three-fourth strip and basically you're gonna just create like a little loop I, I don't know how to say it. I don't know what it is but just for it to um, hold on to this one then you're gonna kind of open it up place your glue like on the stick and the paper and make sure you like the, the side first and then squeeze and really squeeze it up to the the stick part that's your first strip then you're gonna take your other strip and you see I left like a little gap here maybe a fourth of an inch you're gonna do the same thing again leave like a fourth or eight eight of an, um, eighth of an inch gap between the two papers do that again kind of open that up Place your glue on the stick and the paper. And squeeze. Really squeeze it towards the stick too. And if you have like excess like I got here, I don't know if you can see, we can cut that off. And then do your one inch one. Do like a little tab. Like an eighth of an inch gap. And place your glue. And be careful the glue is hot on the paper. Really push that in there. So now you can um, cut off the excess. I like to start from the top and then you could do it as long as you want. Maybe like right up to here. So the top is going to be the longest and then the bottom. And the, the bottom two, I make the same distance. And then, you know, I don't know if you guys know, to make your little flag part, cut up the center. And then do the triangles like that. Okay. Or you can just leave them straight. 
it's kind of technically you're not going to even see it too much <laughs> well um, um depending on how much you layer on them and that one and then let's do the other one so this is the paper one and let's do the raffia one just to show you again so you start with your three fourth strip let's see what I think I'm going to put this one in the middle, orange in the middle. Um, and like if it has writing, you know, make sure you put the writing the right way. <laughs> so pick the side of the broom that you'd like in the front, roll a little piece of it, open that up. And the reason why I just leave the long strip is because, you know, it's a little easier to do it this way than measuring out. You know, you could just take the excess off. It's better to have more than less. And again, just roll a little bit to the back like that. Like an eighth of an inch gap between the two papers. glue like I said it is hot so be careful squeeze up to the stick see how I made kind of like that groove right there and then do this simple just depends on what broom you want to make so now we're going to add the pom-pom to the top so you see how this is a um it's a little long because we only want like maybe a fourth of an inch on top of there not too much i'm gonna um cut it down i'll be right back okay so now um so you don't really need that big of a gap I forgot, you're gonna need also um, jump rings. You're gonna put the jump rings right there and you're gonna need some pom-poms. Gonna need some pom-poms. Um, these are just assorted pom-poms that I found a while ago. So you put your jump ring and then you're gonna put some glue right at the top. And then squeeze your pom-pom right on there like really squish it okay that one add a jump ring I think these jump rings are either eight or ten all right, so this is how they're going to look with the jump ring on it, all finished up. And then I'm going to add um, some little bowls. You can add whatever you would like. Just on that part that we wrapped. And this is how the base looks for your broom banners. All right, guys. So um, I'm going to do another video because this, this one is kind of running really um, long for a uh, craft with me to decorate these um, brooms. All right. See you later. Stay tuned. Bye.